and welcome to the Intuitive's Tool Belt video series, episode three, Awakening the Energy Within. And today we're going to be talking about the chakras. Now, the chakras are nothing more, in my opinion, than thought forms within the body. They, each one resonates with a certain focus. And what happens is, when we start thinking outside of that focus, that's when we get blocks within our chakra system. So let's take, for example, the root chakra. The root chakra is all about security, survival, and having a place to live. It also is associated with money. So let's say that you actually have a lot of problems with money. You never seem to have enough money. Well, what may be happening is somewhere inside of your belief and thought systems or thought processes is a belief within that that goes against the flow of the root chakra. And in going against the flow of the root chakra, that's what creates the block and that's what stops the money from coming. That's what stops the energy from flowing within that chakra. Once your system is actually flowing, everything will begin to flow. Let's take, for example, your solar plexus chakra, which is located right above the belly button, about two finger lengths above there, and you have low self-esteem. Somewhere in your belief system or in your thought processes, you have low self-esteem. You're thinking thoughts like, I'm not good enough, I'm not smart enough, or you're comparing yourself to other people. And in doing that, that goes against the flow of the solar plexus chakra. So how can we fix that? Well, in the book, The Intuitive's Tool Belt, which is available on Amazon, barnesandnoble.com, as well as Android, iPhone, and if you'd like a physical copy, you can go to www.authorhouse.com. Now, there are so many different ways that you can begin to awaken those energies. Of course, the best way is through meditation and listening to meditations that are all about awakening your chakras and doing chakra aligning and healing meditations and perhaps focusing just on one each day for seven days to see how that manifests for you. You can also use crystals and stones that are in correlation with that chakra. So if you want to start working with the heart chakra, get green stones like uh, emerald is a fabulous one. Um, for the third eye, amethyst. For the crown, selenite. For the root chakra, carnelian, orange or red. Uh, and then I also write about different stones that you can use inside the book. Now, another great tool that I want to give you that you can use to start realigning and kind of cleansing and clearing. And this is a very light cleansing and clearing. This will not do all the work for you. This is merely a tool that you can use. Is singing the musical scale from... Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do. And each one of those correlates with one of the chakras. Do is the root chakra. Re is the, uh, the sequel chakra. Mi is the solar plexus. Fa is the heart. So is the throat. La is the third eye. And T up here is the crown. And then you can also say Do once more, which will begin to activate your causal chakra, which is the chakra right above your head. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is I'm actually going to do some toning. This, These tones that I'm going to be doing are actually going to help you. And you can tone along with me if you can't reach the frequency that I'm at. If it's too low or too high, please just tone where you are comfortable. And as you're doing this, it's going to help to open, clean, and clear the chakra system. Okay? 
I'm not saying this is a cure-all. I'm not saying this is going to completely awaken you. But what this is going to do is it's going to start the process for you. And then you have to continue on. And you can always come back to this video if you need a refresher on that. So I'm going to be doing the tones. And if, like I said, if you'd like to join me, you're more than welcome to. And if not, you can just listen to me as I do them. So we're going to start at the root chakra and go all the way up. And we will um, just do the Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti first. And then we will focus on each individual chakra after that. Okay? <clears throat> All right. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do. So that is just a general, and now we're going to go to each chakra. First is the root. So everyone, please focus on your root chakra that's at your tailbone. Do. we're going to move on to your sickle chakra. Please concentrate on your sickle chakra. If you're not sure where it is or where it's located, it's located right above the root chakra and its color is associated with orange. Next, we're going to move up to the solar plexus chakra, which is located above the sekel chakra, and its color is sunshine yellow. Me. Next, we're going up to the heart chakra which is located above the solar plexus chakra in the middle of the chest. And its color is emerald green laced with pink. Focus on your throat chakra, which is sky blue. So next, we're going to go to the third eye chakra, which is in the middle of the forehead and it is associated with the color indigo which is blue a bluish purple La is for the crown chakra and that's associated with a lavender or violet color. T to the causal chakra which is above your head and it is associated with the color silver. 
Do. So there is a little activation for everyone. And you can, of course, go and purchase my book and find out also about when the chakras are blocked and some physical symptoms as well as emotional symptoms. I will give you one. And the one that I'm going to give you, of course, is with the root chakra. If the root chakra is not fully opened or it's blocked, you're going to feel ungrounded. You're going to be in a lack mentality. And you're going to feel very airy-fairy and spacey. So that's one that you can start from there. So I wish you all my love. And if you would like a personal reading or if, or if you'd like a healing, um, you can, of course, visit my website, which it will be in the link below. You can also visit for free daily card readings. You can visit www.facebook.com backslash simplyintuitive, and that'll also be in the comments below. I send you all my love.